do it today. The Guinness has shipped every corner of the world ever since. I specialized in pediatrician. I was a good doctor. Um, I'm a specialized general surgeon. I have watched all 13 seasons of Grey's Anatomy. Also, a relationship counselor. Over the years, I'm also heavily invested in my non exclusive relationship with Dr. Dempsey, but that's not the same for me. Aesthetically pleasing. It is. Ooh. Oh. We're gonna go drink it as now. <laughs> but we still have... Yeah, we have to go around that way. That's where we go. Well, I'm fine drinking one Guinness if I'm going out, but I wouldn't have any more. You get, you get a little tasting one in like a shot glass. It's like that big. Yeah. Yeah. 
we have four pods. We've basically vaporized the different key attributes of Guinness to give you an idea of what this smell like. You're more than welcome to smell them if you want, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them as well. Starting off with this top one over here, we have malted barley. And malted barley is what adds sweetness to the beer. Directly behind that, we have some beer esters. They're a byproduct of fermentation. It's like really sweet, like butterscotch and caramel, but you can't actually taste that in the beer. Over here to the back, we have hops. Hops are a natural preservative and the add vitamins to Guinness, just because of the type of hop that we use. Finally then, we have the roasted barley. Uh, the way we roast barley is very similar to how coffee beans are roasted. So this one here, it smells quite like coffee. So each one of the four, they all combine together and the find in Guinness draft. Now we've one little brew while drinking Guinness. Guinness has got quite a thick, creamy head on top, which is formed by nitrogen gas. So the head of Guinness is actually just full of nitrogen. There's no real flavour of it. So whenever you're drinking, just make sure you're taking a good, generous mouthful, that you're actually drinking the beer itself and not just the head of it. When you do that, you'll hopefully find that bit of sweetness. Cheers. Cheers. really a chug when it's that small. Yeah, I know. I have one of these at home and I use it as a shot glass. That's fair. It is a cute little glass. You gonna keep it? No. Yeah, it says over there. I'm still not a Guinness fan. You don't like, have to. I be. don't want to say that out too loud. <laughs> <laughs> We have a glass from our walls. Yep. But you can't do anything about it. No, you can't. Because I'm baby. <laughs> I'm baby. This whole room is quite fancy. the animals. Absolutely no problem. Oh, I was like, <laughs> looking for the head and I was like, oh. oh. Unrealistic reasons. Absolutely. Damn, bro. Look at that you, Ben. That's a neck. <laughs> neck with two C's. <laughs> footage of like Guinness pouring but it felt like you like you were in a giant pool of Guinness. Hmm. It's a pity that uh it broke. It it broke. It broke. This oh, is bright. aggressively bright. Oh it's just a shadow. It's just a shadow. 
<laughs> you look bald. <laughs> Lick. Shilly. I mean, great light on this side. That's pretty good. Stand behind the bus. Well, there's already videos of me falling for this song. And he was at this one, right here. You were at that one? <laughs> yeah. That's the so short, she could barely reach the symbol. And yeah, then they, they, you put your name in here normally, and they have a little certificate to say that you can pull it into my I think I can see my school from here. I should be able to see my school from here because it's up on a hill. Mainly but because I don't know my direction. school is in Sutton and that's Sutton over there. Good to know. Mm. I don't know which direction my school is in. But I should be able to see it from here. When the steward at Brook, uh, Brooks Club in London ordered that even the champagne should be in mourning, dressed in black. So. A silky, velvety drink where the evanescence and dry biscuit notes of sparkling wine combined to create a perfect symphony. Hmm. The champagne is on Yeah. Fair enough. Well, that's what I'm getting. Hmm. What are you gonna get? Um, probably just a Guinness. Just a regular Al Guinness. An Al Guinness, like. I'm going to put my one of adult ticket. One of It's right there. Oh, it's under the mask. Oh, wow. Look at that. We came here at just the right time. Oh, sunset? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. You can't beat that. That's the good shit. <laughs> Excited were you by the Christmas market? The Christmas market was uh, it was so 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 uh, um, unexpected. It was um, it, it, it somehow it really snuck up on us. It really did. We didn't even notice. Not at all. No. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great. No. It just it just wasn't there. <laughs> We did get a crap afterwards though. That was pretty good. That was some good shit. Oh, okay, these Christmas lights, I always love the Christmas lights here. I love how they've gotten rid of their notions of calling it the Grafton Quarter. The Quarter? Did you see the Christmas lights last year? No. Instead of saying like, welcome to Grafton Street, it was welcome to the Grafton Quarter, and then everyone complained, they're like, I go way over to that. Okay. So they took it down. <laughs>
again. One Garda. like the lights. Oh, it looks like I've actually toned my hair. <laughs> oh, shit. Not when I do that. <laughs> Bleach blonde. You know, I only did it yesterday and I need to top it up. Apparently I missed some spots in the back of my head. Uh oh. <laughs> A little bit. I need to fix it anyway because like, there's still bits of pink in it as well that didn't come out. I just love these lights so much. They're pretty. I'll give you that. There's spark and then we come out at Paris Port, which is also very pretty this time of year. Hmm, what's this shop? I don't know, but I like the look of it. These are all perfect. Have you seen anything nice? <laughs> <laughs> 18k sapphire diamond, 8 carat gold. Like, if you're not proposing to me with a sapphire ring, then I'm not interested. Because I am a Seattle It has to be square, but I'm going to use the middle. So I want to look at the middle. To just notice this. Oh. I don't know if that. Was a thing that happened. I don't know which caused the other, but my favorite color is purple, and my work's known as amethyst. Like same? Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I did one cause the other, or did the other cause the other? And that's funny because I also have my friend Luke, whose favorite color is also purple, who was born the day before me. <laughs> hmm. editing me sorry I look like crap <laughs> I realized while I was editing that I forgot to do an outro for this little video that you just watched and um, I just wanted to say that basically after this we just went and got food we talked and caught up we got some bubble tea and then we just said goodbye and went home it wasn't that late but we didn't want to spend too much time hanging around given the circumstances at the minute um, but I also wanted to take this little moment just to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas, um, and Happy New Year. Um, may this year bring so much joy and happiness to all of you, because 2020 was super hard. We didn't deserve it. 
Um, so may 2021 bring everything that you do deserve and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye